Welcome to the Learn to Create Pixel Art with A Sprite course. In this video, we are going to animate a bouncing ball in A Sprite. So, I have here a document. I'm going to make a new layer pressing Shift N. I'm going to rename it, going to Properties, like that. Here, I'm going to activate the continuous frames for the background. And with my pencil tool, I will set the size to 32 and with a green color this one I'm going to press there and I'm going to make a ball All right so I'm going to set the, set the options for the onion skinning and I'm going to activate the onion skinning I'm going to create a new frame pressing alt n and here I'm going to press Ctrl T and I'm going to resize my ball like this and I'm going to press I'm going to click here on this side and I will press Alt this way I can resize on both sides at the same time new layer I mean new frame Alt N like this and like that going to make a new empty frame so alt v and i will copy the content of the second frame ctrl c ctrl v and then a new empty frame and i will copy the first frame All right i will make a new frame alt n i will move it like this ctrl t click alt resize and the same here Alt N All right going to make a new frame Alt N I will delete the content so it's the same as making a new empty frame and I will copy the frame 6 going to move it up Alt V, I will copy frame 5, move it up, and I will scale it a little bit. This Alt V, I will copy this one for example, and I will put it there. Alt N, I'm going to move this ball. A little bit down Alt V I will copy maybe this one like that Alt V actually no I'm going to copy this one and I will move it up Alt V and then I will copy this one I can also come to the settings here and select red blue tint and this is going to show my previous frames with sorry wait yes my next frames with blue and my previous frame with red right so I will paste that and we extend this to here new empty frame I will copy this one and because the animation is going to loop here at the end of the animation is going to start back at the frame one so let's see how our animation looks on the preview it looks something like this let's see the speed I will put it at one you can also go to the previous and next frame pressing the comma or the point the dot and let's see how this animation works so when you have a lot of similar frames in a short period of time that part of the animation is going to look slow because you have similar frames compressed in one small part so here for example the valve is squashing because it's taking the impulse to jump and here because of the speed 
is going to stretch, right? And here it's going to compress again, it's going to be a little wide in the air, and then it's going to stretch again because it's falling, alright? So now we are going to disable the onion skinning, we are going to our pencil tool, and let's activate log alpha, and we are going to shade each frame. So, there we go. Now I'm going to link all the cells of my balcon, the frames. So, I'm going to click the first one, click, drag, right click, and link cells. And then I can go into my free frame and I will make a background. And there we have our animation. Actually, I have a little problem here. I will select refer only to active layer on the bucket tool. And there you go. 